everybody, it's Jessica here again, and today I'm going to do another packing list video, but first I have a couple of things to tell you. First off, it is 10 days until move-in! Yay! I'm super excited right now, and I'm really trying to make sure that I get all these videos done before I move in. So, um, sorry I disappeared the past couple of days. I was um, on a trip with my parents. We went to Williamsburg, we went to Busch Gardens and stuff, and we had fun. We had a nice weekend. I also went clothes shopping on Friday, so I didn't really have any time to make a video. Um, so, that's where I was the past couple of days. And, um, yeah, so I have ten days left until move-in. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to finish these packing list videos by next Tuesday. I move in next Thursday. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying next Thursday now. Ah, I'm so excited. So next Thursday is my move-in day, and next Wednesday I'm going to be packing the car, and I'm going to make a video of me trying to pack the car, you know, getting everything in the car, because I'm going to have a lot of stuff, and it's all going to be just like jam-packed into my car. And then, I, so I want to have these packing videos done by next Tuesday. So I'm really going to try and just upload one every single day. I'm going to probably film a lot of them in advance. But I'm going to try and put one up every day um, until next Tuesday. And I'm actually going to, after, sorry, after I'm done with this one, I'm going to um, go ahead and plan out what days I'm going to be doing what ones. I think tomorrow I'm probably going to do my um, bedding video because that's pretty much done. I just have to grab a couple things out of my bedroom for that one. Um, but today we're going to be doing first aid, which everything is in this top drawer right here, my little three drawer cart. Um, I'll be pulling that drawer out in a minute instead of having to like, constantly be reaching back behind me. Um, so, yeah, and there's something else I want to say. Oh, thank you guys so much for um, all the comments, and I'm actually up to, I think, eight subscribers right now. Yay! For me, this is a big thing, because my other channel had like four subscribers, and three of them were my, were my friends. So it was kind of like, yep. I mean, nobody really watched my old videos on my other channel. So, because those were just stupid videos of me just doing whatever. I didn't really care. But this time, you know, I'm very happy. I'm up to a good amount of subscribers. Some people are giving some really good comments. I'm really, I'm really happy about where this channel is going. And I'm hoping it gets even bigger. And it can be a ton of fun and stuff. Especially because in 10 days, I am out of here. I am not going to be in this house. I'm going to be off on my own in college with a roommate, which is going to be fun, and yeah, and my sweet mates, and all that other stuff. So, thank you guys so much for the comments and for, for watching. I love, like, every morning when I wake up, I'm so excited because I want to go check the, how many views I have on my videos. I'm so excited. Um, my crazy shopping day one actually is over 250 views now, and I'm like, yay! Like, you have no idea how excited I am about stuff like this. I know it's stupid stuff to be excited about, but I get really excited about these things. So, before I make this video too long, um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to be doing the first aid stuff today. So, yeah. Oh, this whole drawer is just filled with first aid stuff and just general wellness stuff. So, the first thing, when you're going off to school, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually there's one thing that's in this drawer that I wanted to put in here. Let me find it. It's in this drawer. I know it is. I put it in here. That was my phone. Or did I already put it in there? I think I actually already put it in here. Oh, no, there it is. It's going to be on another day. Okay, sorry, there was just something I... Whatever. Throw it in there. Get that. Whatever. Anyway. The first thing I, I'm going to show you is I have two pre-made first aid kits. You're probably wondering why I have two. Well, one of them I got, um, I ordered it because it was from um, Residence Hall Linens. They sell this thing called the Quick Fix Pack, and it comes with a mini sewing kit, a small tool kit, and a small first aid kit. 
And this is the first aid kit that it comes with. It is the size of my hand. It is really small. It doesn't really have much in it. Um, it has enough in it that's a first aid kit. What I advise, don't get this. This is good for like carrying in your purse or I might actually um, bring this with me to like performances and stuff because I'm, again, you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, I don't remember if I said it or not. I know I said it in my intro video, I'm also a technical theater major. I have two majors, chemistry and technical theater. This is one that I would probably keep in my school bag for the chemistry lab, <laughs> like if I accidentally get cut or something. Um, or, you know, the theater, because you're going to get hurt in the theater. It just happens. <laughs> you're going to get cut. You're going to get a splinter in your foot. Whatever. I've done that before. Not fun. Anyway, this is something I'd probably keep in a school bag for just those random things. But this is a small little first aid kit. I mean, it has, like, band-aids and stuff. It has a little first aid guide. I think it's just got some, like, band-aids and stuff. It's not very well organized, and it's just whatever. The other one I got at Target for $10. And this is the, and I peeled the label off. I really shouldn't have peeled the label off because it had like this big label on it. This is the Band Aid brand, or Johnson & Johnson um, first aid kit. It's a premium first aid kit. It's in this plastic box. I'm going to show you what's in it. You open the box. Ta da! And you have a first aid guide. You have some gauze pads here. You have some Neosporin packets. Um, these are butterfly closures. Um, and then you have some hand cleansing wipes. Then here's a box of various um, assorted size band-aids. These are the regular like sheer ones. And then these are the fabric ones in assorted sizes. You have some gloves. Some um, medical tape. And underneath there is one of those instant cold packs. And that's just what's in the little basic first aid kit that you get. These, this is pretty much standard for most um, first aid kits. Sorry, my shirt it's like driving me nuts. Um, this is pretty much standard for most of your first aid kits. Now, I want you guys to think, well, if you're just showing us a pre-made first aid kit, what is this video about? I have other stuff that I add to first aid kits because they're things that I generally will need. First thing, I don't need too often, but I do have a habit of hurting myself. So I have an ace wrap, and I've had this for years. It's actually like getting really stretched out and stuff. Because I've had it for years and years and years. It's just a basic ace wrap. You can always use these for just about anything. So that's always a good thing to have. Let's go back in there. Um, another thing I would suggest having, I actually have one. I just don't know where the heck it is is just an extra tube of Neosporin because as you saw in the um, first aid kit it comes with like little, two little packets of Neosporin but um, get some sort of additional things like antibiotic ointment um, so that you have it um, because two little packets is not going to suffice especially because once you open the packet you can't like reuse it you, know, you have to use what's in there and then you have to like throw whatever you don't use out um, now, a little story. I'm actually allergic to antibiotics. And antibiotic ointment, I can use it. Like, Neosporin is an antibiotic ointment. I usually just get, like, CVS or Target brand or something. Um, so, with antibiotic ointments, I can still use them. I just can't use very much of it. You know, I can use it for, like, one, maybe two days on a cut. Like, if I get a really bad cut, like, I had, I cut myself shaving once. And it was, like, a, it was a good bit of a cut. It was a good cut on my leg. Like, it was a, it was a pretty big cut on my leg. And I used, um, Neosporin on it. And I used it for a day. And I'd never had this problem before. And I, you know, I used it one day. Okay, the next day, you know, I changed the band, and I changed the bandage and stuff before going to bed, and I put new Neosporin on it and everything. About three days later, like the entire area around it was red and like inflamed because I'd used, because I'd used it too much. Like three days later, so I, and I found out I can only use like one day of that. So what I used to like protect the cut, because a lot of times 
use antibiotic equipment also just helps to protect it is I use some Vaseline. So I keep this with my first aid stuff. And this was the other thing that was in the other, this is the thing that was in that drawer. And I was like, oh, this needs to be in this drawer. Is Vaseline because, um, and this just keeps your, the cut and stuff soft and keeps it from like sticking to the band-aid and stuff as it heals. Um, so this is just Vaseline, regular stuff. Um, it has many uses. You know, I also use this um, when my heels get really dry. I put a little bit of this on my heels. So, Vaseline is my kind of replacement for antibiotic equipment after using antibiotic equipment for like a day. Um, next thing, let's just go with this one because it fell over. Alright, actually no, I'm not going with that yet. Da -da 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 -da. Next thing I'm going with is, I left something in my room because it's in my duffel bag <laughs> from the weekend. Um, witch hazel. Not too many people use witch hazel. Um, a lot of people don't really know what it's for. This is an astringent. It's um, it helps to dry out things. Like um, this will really help if you get bug bites. You put witch hazel on bug bites and it helps them not itch anymore, and just helps them heal a little bit faster. You can also use this is actually also really good on zits. Like if you get zits or acne and stuff, use this and it'll help um, extract whatever's in them. So, witch hazel is always a good thing to have. Another thing for um, itching is I use, like, I get bug bites all the time. So I use um, hydrocortisone, which, you know, you can just get, it's the 1% cortisone stuff, um, which I actually have some in my bedroom because I brought it in my duffel bag because I have a couple of bug bites on my legs that, that I use it on. Um, so if you are prone to getting bug bites a lot, like I am, um, then definitely have some sort of like hydrocortisone or some sort of whatever you use for itching relief because I know a lot of people use calamine lotion that doesn't work for me so I use cortisone. Um, next thing that's always important to have is hydrogen peroxide. This stuff is of course used to clean out cuts um, and stuff like that. So, oh, I hear thunder. I think it's going to rain soon. Um, hydrogen peroxide. Little fun fact. Did you know that, do you know why hydrogen peroxide is always kept in a dark bottle? I will tell you why. Because it, um, if hydrogen peroxide is exposed to too much light, it loses its potency. So that's why it's always kept in a dark bottle. I learned that in chemistry class in my junior year of high school. Alright, another very important thing to have is isopropyl alcohol. 70% is pretty much the standard um, stuff you'll get in the drugstores. Um, this is a disinfectant. Um, it's an antiseptic. Um, this is kind of used for a lot of things. It's um, used for cleaning sometimes. I know I actually clean my whiteboard using this. It's really good for cleaning your whiteboard. And if you get like Sharpie on something, use some, um, use rubbing alcohol, which is what isopropyl alcohol is. It's rubbing alcohol. Um, I use this to clean my whiteboard, and if you get Sharpie on something, you can use this and it'll clean it off. Yeah, it's, it's cool stuff. Alright. Next thing I have in here is Visine. This is Visine Totality, which I use because one day it could be caused by one thing, the next day it'll be caused by another thing for me to have to use Visine. Like, I'll either have some sort of allergy issue, or it could just be that my eyes are dry and irritated. It could be any number of things. I just get the totality, so I don't have to have like five different things of Visine. Alright, now I'm getting into the various over-the-counter drugs that I have in here. I have five different ones. Five. First thing is antacid. I get heartburn a lot. So, yeah. And also, I don't drink milk too often, so I use some of this to um, get my calcium. Um, so, yeah, you can use this as a calcium supplement. So, I get heartburn a lot, so I use antacid for that. And especially because you're going to be eating dorm, or not dorm, but, you know, school food. Might, might be needing this. Alright, next thing I have, I have a tendency to eat my food fast. 
So when you eat your food fast, um, you swallow a lot of air and it later causes gas pain. So I have just gas relief stuff. I don't need this too often, but sometimes I do. Sometimes my stomach will just hurt from this. So, whatever. Happens to all of us. Next thing is just Benadryl, allergy relief stuff. Um, always a good idea to have this. Because you never know when you're going to need it. I don't have allergies. Um, I usually, like, springtime when a lot of people are, like, dying from allergies, there might be, like, one or two days where I'm just, like, miserable from it. But other than that, I usually just deal with it. Alright, next thing is acetaminophen, which is Tylenol. Um, I don't use ibuprofen. I don't like to use ibuprofen. I don't like to use aspirin. So this is a non-aspirin. Um, pain labor and stuff for headaches. And these are the cool ones. These are the little um, Target brand, the tablets. Yep, these are the tablets. Which are, ah, uh, crap, I can't show you because it's not open. But these are little red tablets and they actually taste pretty good so I can swallow them dry. Alright. Last thing is something that all girls will need. I bet you already know what it is, don't you? menstrual relief stuff. Um, the With these you need to check. If you regularly use Pamperin most of the time you will um, be able to get the generic brand. If you use Midol you have to check. But I'd still advise checking because Midol and Pamperin are, um, have different active ingredients. Um, and this, this, the Target generic brand, which is this one, this is the equivalent of Pamperin, not the equivalent of Midol. So, if you, you know, depending on which one you use, you're going to have to check um, to make sure you're getting the right one if you're getting a generic, or you can just get the regular brand. But it's like 20, or, okay, I get double the amount of pills for the same price as I would pay for the Pamperin. So, I get the Target brand, and it works the exact same. So... That is everything that is in my first aid drawer, with the exception of the cortisone, because I don't have it in here right now. It's actually in my duffel bag, because I still haven't unpacked from my weekend, and I'm like, nah, I don't want to go unpack. I have to, because I have to do my laundry. But, um, yeah, so that is all of my first aid stuff, and I hope you, um, subscribe, comment, um, my phone. I keep hearing this vibrating with my phone. Um, just subscribe, comment. Um, I think my next video I'm going to start like doing something fun with the comments. I think I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Never mind. Forget I said that. I don't feel like editing it out. Um, but anyway, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I thinking? Subscribe. Follow on Twitter. I think that's it. Email me if you have any questions or put them in the comments. Um, or you can message me. Whatever. Get your friends to watch my videos because I really like having viewers. It's fun. Um, and I hope you guys are excited as I am about starting college. And yeah. Even those of you who are, you know, high school seniors that are watching me. I know there's a couple of you um, that are high school seniors, and that thunder is, like, getting close. I don't, I don't think you guys can hear it, but I'm hearing thunder right now. Um, yeah, subscribe, and... Did you guys hear that? <laughs> That's one of the roosters. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Oh my god! Will you shut up? <laughs> Bye.